Hello everyone and welcome back to Yuki Mans. Today we've got another mail video, so we're gonna see what random cards are this time. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of toon cards here. So I'm sort of interested in building that deck again and like just with collectors rares and whatnot. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more of our videos and hit that bell button. So we'll start off with the first one. Get this open. Oh, it's just the one card. Not even in a top loader. So we've got Twin Dark Magician. Okay. Said there was going to be tunes, so we seem to be getting tunes. This one. Is this one a track one? I think it is. Well, at least this one's in a top loader. Um, yep, that's all that's in here. And we've got a nice collector's rare toon bookmark. Of course it's sellotaped at the top, I can't get into it to really see it shine. We'll come back to that anyway. Envelope number three. Yep, yep, it's in a top loader. I've really zoomed in, sorry about this, I meant to zoom out a bit and get more in. Yep, we've got another tomb bookmark. Nice. Move these envelopes out of the way. I'm pretty sure one has a return address, so I'm going to try and. I'll open the one with the return address on it first. GDPR and all that carry on. Oh, this is really in here. And it's a playset of Toon Kingdoms. Probably should have went with Ultimate, but I do prefer Secrets over Ultimates, but I'll. I'll maybe pick up the ultimates at some point. Right, this one seems like a... This one might be a good one. Yep, we've got a collector drawer, tune, harpy lady, and an instant fusion. I like the uh, the fusion relinquish monster just as... Uh, the OCG has two call by the graves, so I sort of see instant fusion and a call by the grave as two call by the graves. Because you bring that monster out and it's sort of... It can negate an effect monster on the field or in the graveyard, which is pretty good. So we've got two. Oh, it hasn't put them around that way. Set them there. That's that's grand. We've got four left now. I also made the mistake of buying. I didn't know BLS. The tomb BLS was a collector's rare, so I ended up buying two ultras. Unfortunately, ah, this is them. Yeah. Yep. So there's two. I went and bought the collector's rares off. I had to go on card market because it's it's such a hard card to find on the likes of eBay. I know they're plentiful in America, but I think with Toon Chaos, the European market was sort of short. But I went on the card market and picked up a few collector's rares of the Toon BLS there, so... Unfortunately, they're not there, but at least I've got these to play in the meantime, and then I can sell them. Because the Ultras are, themselves are still quite pricey. So I've got, what is this random junk I've bought? Libromancer? Yeah, yeah. I I sort of thought I'd buy this Dakor just to see how it would get on. I do, I do like myself. I do like me a ritual deck. So get back in your sleeve. And the Libra Monster stuff's actually pretty cheap. So yeah, there we go. That's just the. I think that's the monster lineup you play. Because like, the ultras are about a pound. So I'm not too sure about the American market, but the ultras are pretty cheap here. We've got another one. The lighting is actually really bad today. Oh yes, and of course the card that actually makes it all Comic Con. It's such a stupid card. Um, it's basically a snatch steal for Toon, so it's sort of um I think the whole thing, the the meme deck on Master Duel at the minute is Nibiru your opponent. Get it the highest attack possible, and then Comic Con the token and attack for attack them directly because it makes it a tune card. So we've got three of these bad boys. Obviously, I'll not be playing. Nib well, I might try it with Nibiru, but I'd rather just steal maybe an opponent's monster. You could like bait it. You could bait and negate from Dragoon and steal a Dragoon. Probably couldn't steal the DPE. It's it's one of the more popular monsters, but I mean you can steal big boss monsters. The only thing. Other than playing 
Oh, there's this one's on the sleeve. So this will be the, the last mystery card to make Pegasus proud. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, um, I don't want to play Nibiru because most people play around Nibiru, but I would like to play maybe the Wind Kaiju just for when you're playing Flunderies. Because the Bio Statue would really rack this deck, but it would be nice to Kaiju them, Comic Con to Kaiju them, and then just attack them. Also, with BLS, um, the Tomb BLS, it can attack directly the turn summoned. It doesn't have summon sickness, which is pretty good. I think it's just it and Toon Dark Magician Girl at the minute who can attack directly the turn they're summoned. The rest of them have summoning sickness. So, last card is a. Oh. Ultima Sulkin. I must have been looking at Built in Virtual World at one point and I've just picked this card up. I don't know. But yeah, as you see, here's the cards here. Getting some glare there. Sulkin. Must be for Virtual World. I must have. Had some crazy idea about building that deck. Comic Hand 2. Two Black Lizards of Blues. These. I sort of want to look at the. The collector's rare so far that I have. Just to show you off, like. What the difference is in a collector's rare. They're sort of like. They're sort of like halfway between like an ultimate and like an ultra. Sort of. It's like an ultimate that's shiny. And that's my one sort of problems with ultimates. It's just they're like. They're just sort of meh. Yeah. I like my cards to shine, so you can sort of see this tomb book more. I'll get it out of its sleeve. Let's go. But sort of, well, you, you can sort of see like the sort of detail on it. It's just a shiny ultimate, basically. Cutting in this one's actually pretty. No, the cutting's actually pretty bad in this. But it's a nice card. It's not first edition because it's near impossible to find first edition tunes. Some mod person must be hoarding them all so that is a beautiful card i know the other the um page flip i sort of thought page flip i would have came by now because i ordered all these things quite like last week but i'm waiting on the collector's rare page flip coming i'm waiting on the collector's rare tomb bls is coming so what's the other one tune harbor lady harbor lady i think that was the only the tunes that were collector's rare Although it could be wrong because I was wrong about the Tomb BLS. I did not know. And then I discovered that the Toon Harper Lady was a collector's rare, so I bought it also. Let's get. Let's have a wee look at the Toon Harper Lady. Really nice. And you can see like these the ones floating about on eBay are gonna be ones that are like miscut and not as good. And because the Toon, the first sort of edition of the Toon Chaos, the, all the correct collector's rares were cut poorly. But you can see, yep, they, st they actually still do have it. They always had like a ding. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in this. They always had like a ding right on top of the card. And usually one at the bottom somewhere. Uh, is there two? It's usually at the side here. Yeah, there's sort of a ding there. But they still look amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll probably do another big stock up and buy random cards that I just like. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to see more, I suppose. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, push the bell button. I don't know. See your video.